Hey guys, Lewis Long back with another episode of Pragmatic Design. Recently I got an email from someone asking about how to use icon fonts in, in Axure and other design applications. A while back I wrote a blog post on how to do this and it looks like um, there were some te steps that tripped this person up and so I'm going to make a video to kind of walk you through how to do this. Uh, the question that was asked was, Hi, I was trying to do this and step 4 is difficult. When I hold the ALT key for E6000, like this strange symbol. I downloaded the I ICO Moon free font to see if I can get something working with a free font that already exists on ICO Moon. I dropped the font in my system fonts folder. Font is installed. Next, I went to the generator and click on web fonts, CSS, and added my ICO moon quick usage URL link rel equals style sheet, and then the link to the style sheet. I saved my extra file, restarted Axure, opened my file, added a label widget, and held down the alt key and pressed E600 and no icon, no error icon. Um, I added the Unicode keyboard is activated on my Mac. Do you have a video on how to install custom fonts? I see a moon free font as an example. So I don't have a video, but let's get started and I'll show you how to use uh, icon fonts inside of Axure and actually any design application. So this person is asking to use the ICO um, free icon font. So the first step we need to do is to download that from icomoon.io. Okay, so after I've downloaded the icon font, I need to install it on my system. So first I'll extract the zip file. And I'll go into this folder and I'll look for the font file. So it's icomoon free. I'll double click this. Install it, and then you'll see um, all the icons here as part of the font. So the next thing we need to do is to try to use this in Axure. So let's open up an Axure file. Okay, so when I originally wrote this blog post, um, the way that I recommended to use the icons was to um, use the Unicode keyboard input and actually manually type in the Unicode for the character. Um, since then, I figured out it's very easy to just copy and paste from a font book. So um, first, I'll show you the easy way, and then if you like, you can do the, the original way using the the Unicode keyboard input. So what I need to do is I need to go to font book and then for my view here I need to make sure that I have repertoire as my view option. Uh, by default you'll be seeing sample so make sure you go to view and then repertoire. Um, I'll find an icon that I want to use in Axure. So this bill for instance and I'll just press Command C to copy it. And then if I just um, paste, so Command V, I will create this and you'll see that it's not the actual icon. It's just this weird uh, symbol. And the reason for that is it, it doesn't know, by default, actually doesn't know which font to use to associate with that character. Since this character doesn't exist in Arial, um, we need to change it to the ICO Moon font. So if we go through these fonts here, you'll see that. Okay, it looks like I need to restart um, Axure for it to read that font, that font file. Let's just restart Axure. New file. Let's click in. Copy our icon. Paste. 
paste. So I see Omon free. If I choose that, you'll see we have our bell icon. And this method works equally well in other design applications. Uh, for example, let's open up Sketch. And the great thing about Sketch is that if, say, I pick another icon here and I, I copy and I paste, well, Sketch is smart enough to know associate that icon with that font so I don't need to manually change that. Um, the same method will work in Photoshop, Illustrator, basically any um, application, even MS Word. So that will wrap up this video. Uh, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to ask any questions on any future videos that you'd like to be made. Uh, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.